If you've been to Nederland, you probably saw the Pioneer Inn sign. If your grandparents went to Nederland, they probably saw the Pioneer Inn sign. It came down this week. Photojournalist Corky Scholl went up to Ned today to talk to the former owner of that music spot that entertained generations since it opened in 1966. It's the end of an era. It's over. The Pioneer Inn played an incredible chapter in the history of Nederland. It was a very important place, like Bunny had said. It put Nederland on the map. You'd say Nederland, Colorado. Oh, I've been to the PI, and everyone had their own experience from going there. My connection to the Pioneer Inn is that in 1972, my former husband and I bought the Pioneer Inn. Through the Pioneer Inn, that's where my social circle was. Oh, there was a lot of music. My first job up here was at Caribou Ranch. On any day, you would see Michael Jackson cars go by, or Elton John, um, Super Tramp, Stevie Wonder. If you were lucky to be in the Pioneer Inn, when one of these musicians or bands would get up and play, or to sit down and talk to you, it was a memory of a lifetime. It ultimately became a melting pot. The sign in the window of the Pioneer prior to us buying it said no long hairs or unkept beards allowed. Oh, Ned, no. <laughs> Do you want to tell the dynamite story? I don't. Mm. <laughs> the history will live on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> put it that way. It's the end of an era. I don't know a place that I could just pop in and have that kind of experience again. The inn was recently sold. It'll be opening up under a new name. Bunny's hoping to donate that old sign to the town of Nederland.